Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video, as you can see behind me, is a candle video. This is an update to my Project Wax, which is where I try to use up my candle collection. I'm doing pretty good, you guys. I finished off three candles last month and I'm adding in three new ones this month. And then we're also gonna go through the progress. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, for finished up candles, I have Vanilla Bean. Loved this one. It was a super simple marshmallow vanilla scent. Went from here to here in the last month. So finished it off in a month absolutely adored it so yummy it was really good in the office space just as like a super simple vanilla scent so that was great also finished off pistachio and toasted vanilla another amazing scent also for the office went from here to here in a month and then finished it off last month burned really well wasn't the strongest throw but it's a vanilla scent so what else can you expect but i really loved it and it was like the perfect transition from winter to spring and that it was just really amazing and the last one i finished off is banana bundt cake this one progress from here to here and then finished it off and yeah this one burned really well smelled like banana bundt cake it was pretty good i think i would definitely have to wait a little while before getting it again because i kind of got sick of it near the end but i still liked it i still enjoyed it it was a really good candle okay going through what i've been working on i've been working on pb and j ice cream this one is a fun one um, honestly, not my favorite scent. I thought I would like it a lot more than I do, but we went from here down to here. I'm pretty close to being finished. It got pretty murky there for a while. Um, yeah, this isn't the best burning candle. It's raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. Um, really, I get more raspberry than anything else. I barely get any peanut butter, and I barely get any like ice cream kind of to it. It's just really berry -y. so it's a little too berry -y and it kind of just smells like jelly um it's okay not my favorite on the other hand i have santorini coast that i've been absolutely adoring and i might have to get a backup um we went from here to here in a month the notes are creamy coconut almond blossom and warm vanilla i'm it's wafting into my nose as we speak it's so yummy it's very strong I have it actually sitting right in this little candle holder right here in the living room. It's so wonderful to put on as like an afternoon or evening scent. It's just amazing. Makes my whole apartment smell amazing. And yeah, it's, this is so good. So good. If you don't like coconut, you wouldn't like this one though. But this is a very sophisticated coconut and I love it. Okay, champagne toast. I didn't get a lot of progress on this because I was working on banana bundt cake. But I did get a little bit of progress. I've been loving this in the kitchen, especially after cooking something that's like really strong smelling or even just heating up something or bringing home takeout. Like this is the perfect neutral neutralizer for any sort of smells. So yeah, it's very strong, smells up the entire apartment. I really do love champagne toast. This is like the perfect time of year to burn it too. So just enjoying that one. Next we have mahogany apple in the single wick. This one got quite a bit of use in the past month. So you can see there's our progress. This one, I have to say, though, has a really weird wick. Like, it get, gives you serious mushroom tops, um, and it kind of spurts around the candle. So this is a little bit of a messy burn, but it's like a really hot burn, too. But it's amazing. This is a wonderful scent. Just like mahogany apple, just like it's, it says. Super simple, but really nice and perfect for gaming nights. Um, when Ryan's gaming in the office and I'm, like, editing videos or something, this is, like, the perfect kind of scent just you know, keeps you up, keeps you awake. It's really nice. And then we have mahogany teakwood, which I actually don't have any progress on in the last month. Ryan actually went on two work trips last month, so we didn't do a lot of candles specifically for him this month. But here is the progress from the past month, um, but I didn't burn it at all in April. So yeah, that's this one. And the last one I have updates on is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. I'm pretty sad because I'm almost done with this one. We went from here to here one of my favorite scents just an amazing like cinnamon latte kind of scent and it's a really great burner really great throw just an overall amazing candle so i'm gonna be sad when this one's gone because this is my last backup of it um but very happy that i'm getting good progress and it'll probably be gone in a couple burns so <laughs> he's kind of snoring so sorry if you hear that but anyways, okay, so three candles that I'm introducing for the next month. 
This first one, I'm pretty excited to try. I don't know how it's gonna be, but I'm gonna try it. And that's buttery popcorn. You guys, it really smells like movie theater popcorn. This is melted butter, fresh popcorn, and a sprinkle of sea salt. I love the packaging. It's really cute, super summery, very bright and vibrant. The wax is white and it smells just like movie theater butter popcorn. It's so strong. I'm interested to see what the throw of this one is, like to see if the throw is strong too, because it's pretty strong when you're sniffing it. So I don't know, this is gonna be fun or it's gonna be disastrous. So I'm gonna try it out probably on a movie night um, if Ryan and I have one of those sometime soon. Um, we actually did have a couple movie nights in April. We did like a whole Star Wars weekend um, around Ryan's birthday. He's a Star Wars nerd just like I am. And then we did do like a throwback movie kind of weekend. We did like John Tucker Must Die. Um, I can't remember the other ones, but we did like a whole like throwback movie weekend. So let me know down below if you have like an idea for our next movie night that we should do. Um, and I will burn this candle, but I'm excited to try that one. The next one that I've actually never burned either is Tiki Beach. So this is my first time having this candle in this year's packaging with a little toucan on the front, really cute. The notes are warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. So I figured as we're getting into summertime and it's getting hotter, I wanna have something around that's a little more, you know, tropical. The, the orchids though in this kind of make it a little bit different and more like, shall I say, more sophisticated than Santorini Coast, just less coconutty, I guess, than Santorini Coast. Yeah, Santorini Coast is like a warm coconut. This is like a floral coconut. It smells really good though. I'm excited to try this one. Like I said, never tried it before, so I'll give you guys updates on what I think about it, but that's Tiki Beach. And the last one that I'm putting in is Pink Petal Tea Cake that I picked up at this year's, did I pick it up at Candle Day or SAS? One of the two, I got it on a good deal. Um, and yeah, this is definitely more of a springtime scent, so I'm gonna start burning through it now. I actually think last year I burned through the one that I got. Oh, cause it came out during summer SAS. Yeah. I was burning through this like in August time and it was like kind of perfect to lead me into fall scents. So I don't know. I think it's going to actually be better during the spring slash summer than like late summer, early fall. So excited to bring this one back out. Definitely more of like a living room burn or even a bedroom burn. Um, oh, speaking of bedroom, I forgot one of my candles in the bedroom. I will be right back. I did forget Goosebumps Cupcake in the bedroom. So we'll talk about this one in a second, but just finishing off on Pink Petal Tea Cake, the notes are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. Just like a very like soft um, pound cake with rose in it. That's really what it is. It's really nice. Um, probably the most floral that I can take. And the last one that I have updates on is Goosebumps Cupcake from Goose Creek. And this one I got a lot of progress on in the last month. We went from here down to here. I've been using it in the bedroom primarily. It's super sooty by now though, so it doesn't smell like it used to smell. It's like a very potent berry gourmand, um, but like now it's like a sooty berry potent gourmand. <laughs> So yeah, not the best scent anymore. It definitely like died out and it's a little icky now, but I'm almost done with it. So I'll just finish it up and like, that'll be it. But yeah, that's Goosebumps Cupcake. Okay, so that is it for my Project Wax update for May. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little run through of what I finished what I'm working on and introducing some new candles. So that is everything for today's video. Let me know down below what candles are you burning right now? And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.